go free agent and aren't he heard of again for months. And I just got so pissed, like, I just couldn't watch after TI3. I was done. I was just like, nope, it's not for me. You guys ruined, like, my favorite team. And screw that noise. Screw that noise. Interesting. Aw, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Long range throw. There's the kill. Yeah, man, Dendi, he's pretty sweet. But you know why Dendi's awesome? Because it always looks like he's having so much fun. Like, that's why Dendi is the man. Because he always just looks like he's having the time of his freaking life. Oh, now I'm dead. <laughs> it's one of the things that, you know, like, I'm really missing with, like, LOL Esports right now. It's like, there's a couple of, like, funny characters, but there's nobody who just, like, grins constantly the way that Dendi does. And I miss him. I miss my Dendi. No, I didn't play mid. I played some mad support when I played Dota. Clint, what's up, man? Thanks for coming by. And I appreciate the welcome back. I really hate that that's escapable now. Like, that was my go-to unarmed combo, and the fact that it's not working anymore is, like, really disconcerting. Clearly, I should not have given away so many secrets in all of my videos. But, you know, since it's like all people in... Who is... So, those of you who have like been hearing about the ranks and whatnot, like, who's at... I know Misfit claims that he's still at number one. Right? So, who's like number two? I played the number four guy earlier and just barely won. But, like, who, who's, who else is in like the top ten? I think we heard Magma Bob is like... Something else is like, did he say it was number six? Someone in stream said they were number six, which is pretty sweet. But I'm not sure who that is. Ow! I fluctuate between 25 and five. That sounds like you, Compton. Sometimes you're on point, other times. Other times, I think Grace could beat you. Oh, so much movement. Retax is at 24. Magma Bob's at 20. Zaholi Pale is between 50 and low gold. Did they add, like, a league system or something? What is this low gold thing I'm hearing about? for the first time. Oh no, not not fair. Not fair. I don't know how to how to deal with this with this meta. Bunch of Joe people are top 20. That sounds about right. Well, cuz I think that's what Misfit would do if he saw somebody without a Joe tag and they were like, you know, rank 5 or whatever, he'd be like, "Join my clan." <laughs> so I could totally see that. The tiers of ELO are colors now. Okay, so it's like gold, silver, bronze. Is that like what they decided on? Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture it's from this match. Whoa, and he's suddenly behind me. That's awkward. No, I don't want to die. 
<laughs> I'm not laughing at you, bro. I'm laughing at what Aunt Tilt said in chat. Oh my god. Uh, thanks, man. <coughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, man. We don't know if there's anything between plant and diamond. We just know that diamond is top two to a bug. Interesting. All right, Ruin. Thank you for the games. Um, GG's, GG's. Switch is going to come on in. Awesome. Thanks for waiting, Switch. Thank you for your patience. I guess I'm going to play Ganache. Because I like Ganache. Yeah. On tilt over here, cracking up the jokes. There is a tin rank 2, states on tilt, below bronze. Only found this out after watching my wife play terribly for a night. Three, two, it's like one, uninstall one. rank. It's like all these people are such filthy casuals. <laughs> Ugh. Something's going on with my stuff, okay. Maybe what it is, is that it's not that I'm bad anymore, it's just that I'm predictable. That could be it. Someone said he got diamond, says Retax. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, supposedly, I could, like, start grinding ranked. I know that's what you all want me to do. You want me to do, like, a marathon, you know marathon rank grinding session where it's like I just stream ranked forever and, and you know like put music on and do that thing and talk about how I'm trying to get a sponsor from Razer and all that crap well that's not gonna happen I'm not that dedicated and I don't really care that much I'm just having fun playing with people and that's probably what I will always do have fun playing with people Nice. It's so funny how like cautious people are like with the movement towards weapons and stuff now. Like people who clearly know what they're doing a little bit more than the average bear. Yeah, like immediately grab and jump. And it's funny, like I feel like my uh I feel like my advanced video is no longer advanced. I feel like all that stuff, because I know all of you guys have watched it. Like, that's how most people seem to find out about me anyway. Like, that advanced tactics video, advanced strategies and tactics or whatever I called it, I don't know. All that is like super intermediate now. Like, there's so much other stuff that we've discovered since that video was made like a month ago. I think it was a month ago. So that kind of uh, kind of interests me from a production standpoint. Like, I don't know. So Misfit did actually get Diamond. Is that what we've? Is that what everyone is like agreeing on at this point? There's a ruby rank? Is there a sapphire rank too? Cause like, I'm a sapphire kind of guy. Like when it was like Pokemon red and Pokemon blue, I was like, yeah, whatever. But when it was Pokemon ruby and Pokemon sapphire, I was like, yeah, give me that sapphire version. I don't know why. I just think blue rocks are cool. <laughs> Some say he punched a bear, what the heck? I got caught. We still don't know what the colors are. How do I deal with Hattori air tilt spam? 
You know, I've been trying to answer that question all night, and the, 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 my current conclusion is I'm not sure yet. Although the down tilt air is bugged on this map. I've figured out that much. It should not be doing as much force as it does. Only on this map and only on the down direction. And I'm not sure if it's because of the move set is broken or if something go on, is going on with this map, but there is something very drastically wrong with the way that it's interacting with the center platform and the shenanigans area. So, Player one. <sighs> we will have to see. GG Switch. We will just have to see. Bum, bum, bum. It outranges a lot of things now. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I was talking about. Like, if they keep nerfing the range on everything, like, we're never going to be able to play the game. Best of three, man. Best of three, Switch. <sighs> you know, like, my opinion on all of this is that, like, each weapon should have its own specific range distance. And, like... You know, the guns should outdistance spears, but the hammer should outdistance guns. The hammer is slower. This the guns only work really well in the air and are bad in other situations. Like all you really need to do is like develop out like a big ass pros and cons list and the rest of it, but didn't nerf the range on anything except the hammer and the guns. Yeah, well. I think what it is, is it's just like how people were complaining about the hammer tilt spam uh, a few weeks back. They didn't know how to deal with it. This is something that the community hasn't figured out how to deal with yet. Although I think the amount of force on it is ridiculous. So, you know, that's something. both went flying you know it would be cool but the thing is is that down tilts aren't meant to do what the sword down tilt is doing right now like think about all the, oh that was awkward lag maybe uh, think about all the other down tilts of the game so what is the the spear down tilt does it moves the player downward and has a wide hitbox that does a low amount of damage and kind of average force uh, what does the spear down light do? It does a, um, or air down light we're talking about. The gun down light in the air has like this kind of lockdown effect that's pretty sweet. Um, let's see, hammer down light, you know, picks you up, scoops you up, that's cool. Um, the lance down light is like probably one of the like most worthless moves in the game. It's just got really random stuff. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is that, like, it's a really weird way. I think what's interesting is people using it as, like, a uppercut defender, right? Because that never used to be a thing, trying to jump. And that is a really interesting use for it. But I don't know. I haven't played enough. And the thing is, like, I don't know how people are actually, like, hitting with this. Like, are they just waiting? Like, what's the use? Like, you jump up and then, like, hit right as you're about to get to the ground. Is that the tactic? So, like, the hitbox will hit, like... How much damage does it do? I don't even know. I feel like I gotta go into training mode and look at this really quick and just make some decisions. You know? I don't have enough of the facts to decide. All 
All right, fair enough. It does 20. Okay. Well, that's a lot. I mean, that's not like ridiculous, but it's quite a bit. All right, switch. I see he's trying to redeem himself. On tilt says it's the same way as trying to land a down air on somebody with the guns trying to dodge around you. Just hop up and swing down. Seems fair. It's just something I never did before, so it's like kind of weird to suddenly try to incorporate now. GG switch. GG. All right, let's... uh. <sighs> Let's see who else wants to play next. 17 people in stream. That's fantastic. I think this is like a record-breaking thing right now. My mom's probably watching. I think my mom is watching. Everyone say really inappropriate things because my mom is here somewhere. I don't know. She probably doesn't even know how to see chat. So that's totally cool. All right. Well, if anybody wants to hop in, you can do that. Number is 1408. All right. looks like Untilt has joined. <clears throat> Can't remember what he said his rank was. He said it was much, much higher than his wife's. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's try out Cassidy again. Cassidy. Everyone, get, yep. Everyone, go into vulgar mode. Raiden's mom is watching. I guess that's what I get for like posting this to Facebook. Hi, mom. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Let's see how on tilt's got lag or not. Does he have lag? I hate this stage. How is this stage still in this game? Guy's got good movement. <laughs> Retax got censored. Way to go, Retax. It's your problem, man. You don't know how to be vulgar without getting censored by the Twitch censor police that I don't know how to turn off. <laughs> uh, my mom did say something nice to me on Facebook, though. She said that I sounded like a radio announcer, which is sweet, because you know that's totally what I was going for. So thanks, mom. You're the best. Bex is going to think that's hilarious. Uh, well, I almost just died there. I should probably start trying a little bit harder. So, guys, I want you to tell me what you would like to see on the stream, like, when I stream again. I don't know if I'm going to stream again tomorrow night, because um, I'm kind of trying to rotate my nights of streaming and my nights of, like, you know, actually spending time with my family a little bit more responsibly. Uh, so I may not be streaming tomorrow, but the next time that I stream, what should I be doing? Should I be, like, grinding ranked? Should I be playing a different game entirely? What is it that you guys would like to see? <laughs> Did it censor fuckwit? <laughs> That's hilarious. Whoa. Explosions. Animal explosions. Oh, 
There I go. Now I'm dead. What? What are you talking about? What the heck was that, the holy fail? Why does it look like you were posting from like uh, Apple II? From like 1978. Ooh, that was close. Almost died a little. See? Brawlhaven, man. <laughs> this dude is so randy. <laughs> Only on Brawlhaven. Yeah, Misfit, if you want next, that's cool. I just started this set. Um, so I think Aunt Tilt and I are going to have another one shortly after this. <sighs> Stomping noobs on ranked would be entertaining. The problem is, is that I'm not in the noob area. I'm in, like, the uh, not noob area. And I'm not as good at ranked. I get all nervous and stuff. Take that, Lucian. It's like Final Destination. You know, the thing is, is, again, like this, if you guys haven't figured out, like, this is not an entertainment stream. This is like a hardcore, like, Brawlhalla educational stream. That's what this is. That's why I play so much Stadium, because I can actually think about the moveset there. Whereas here, oh, you know, like, this only works in this really one unique situation when you're playing, like, on this map. Man, items so nerfed. It seems like they nerfed the throw range even more on items. Like, since. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I miss the good old days. I miss 1.4. <laughs> that's when it, That's when everything in Brawlhalla was good. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, reversaled. Oh, what are you going to do? All right, guys. So it looks like we're going to have uh, Misfit currently ranked number one in the world playing with us as soon as uh, on tilt's done, like, completely wrecking me with Lucian. I sound like the people crying for Vanilla WoW. I loved Vanilla WoW. Loved it. Burning Crusade all day long. GG on tilt. GGG. All right, let's see. Um, so on tilt, you want to do another one? We'll do like one last one to close this out. I'm going to play Hattori again because I haven't played her in a minute. Everyone will know. Three, two, one, oh my goodness. Trying to read Twitter and Twitch instead of fighting. No! <laughs> Oh, Hattori, you're so fast. I think my phone's going nuts. Who keeps bugging out my phone?
Uh oh. I just can't win. Uh oh. Oh no! I loved vanilla WoW except for the vanilla parts. Managed to recover without any life loss this time. Playing against On Tilt, very solid player. Certainly making me work for an actual victory of some kind. See, I can't hit anybody. Uh, I guess that's a little bit more useful now. I wonder if they like tweak the hitboxes on that to make it more useful, or if it's just that now everything else on the sword is so useless that it looks good. <laughs> uh, I mean, it could be one of those things, right? Like, it could that could totally be it. Is my phone blowing up? I can hear it, but I can't look at it. <laughs> oh, phone explosions. Oh, wow. Did he reverse direction just as I reverse direction? Too early on that one. Like the, uh, like the prediction. Oh, nice reversal. I like it. Sword buffs, please. <laughs> I'm just saying, it plays very differently now compared to how it used to. Like, I'm still not sure. But then again, like, the thing is, is, like, the the balance changes aren't going to matter because when the new signature move comes in, everything is going to be completely out of balance. Like, really out of balance all over again. So, it's just going to happen. And we're just going to have to roll with it, you know? Like... Just gonna be what it is. <sighs> Man. God, such useless moves on the sword. Like, that's probably one of the reasons why I really like the spear and the hammer, and the guns, actually. Like, all their moves are useful. There isn't a single move that's bad, you know? Like, they all have their uses in their specific scenarios. Like, there is no time at all ever to use, like, the sword heavy tilt. Are you guys trying to make a meme out of me? I see what you're doing. Knock that shit off. That's just unnecessary. Not necessary. Yeah, dude, Retax, that axe from the dev stream a few weeks ago looked sick. I'm super psyched about that. It's going to be awesome. Especially because it looks totally imbo right now. <laughs> I could really use another imbalanced weapon in my life. Have they said, like, did they say, did they do a stream last week because they were at PAX and GDC? Like, did they continue to do it? Was there a dev stream? Did I miss it? Ooh, weird.
There was a dev stream. What was covered? Tell me everything. Ah! My phone is blowing up for some reason. No. It's probably my mom. Like, you shouldn't say those things on stream. You no longer sound like a radio person. You just sound like a guy on a stream. Actually, my son lectured me because I curse on stream. And uh, he was like, Daddy, you were saying bad words. I was like, oh, no, those don't count. He was like, you promised me you wouldn't say bad words. But it's not real. It's just the stream. It's just the stream. I didn't mean it. GG on tilt. Really good. Solid play. All right, let's see if Misfit's going to hop in. Or actually, man, it's like about time for a cigarette. Where is my phone and why is it exploding? What the heck is going on? Oh no. All right, it looks like Misfits coming on. So, what I want is somebody to get in here and play Misfit while I go smoke. Cuz I need a cigarette before I fight Misfit. Air Halla. Air Halla. Yeah, that sounds like something Compton would do. All right. Um, I'm going to go smoke. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm very rusty, whether you believe it or not. So I am going to go smoke. So if anybody wants to fight Misfit, the number one ranked player in in all of Brawlhalla, proven with multiple screenshots. Get in now. Fight the man that no one can destroy. Alright, looks like we've got Misfit and Ruin. So you guys should have some fun watching this. I'm going to go ahead and head on out for now. Toss up the AFK image. I will be back shortly. Um... Misfit looks like he's in charge of the room so he can kick people or remake. I don't know. I'll be back.
Two, one, brawl! Dominating. Shut down.
One brawl. Misfit, just wrecking people, people getting bodied. Oh man, people are getting salty. Oh, five two with Misfit going crazy. <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness! All right, I'm back. Look, there's my beautiful face. Hope everybody's still having a good time. This is the uh, most successful my stream's ever been, so thank you everybody for watching. It's a very seminal moment for me. So after this, uh, I should be playing Misfit in some 1v1. He won all of our previous matches pretty convincingly today. I did take one off of him, but I think I got lucky. So we will see. You know, but my thing is, is that so long as Misfit keeps winning, I feel like I'm still winning because I taught Misfit everything he knows, you know, just gonna, just gonna say it, like, he's awesome because of all of the wicked hours of training we put in. I'll just take all the credit. I'm trying to, like, read chat. It would be cool to get like a more samurai oriented character. I do agree with that on tilt. But uh, you know, we'll see uh, we'll see what happens. It would be cool to get someone like styled like kind of uh I really like the Yasuo's design from League of Legends. Like all that hair. Hatsuki. It would be good stuff. It would be very good stuff. So I think what I'm going to do for the rest of the stream is I'm going to play Misfit in like a best of seven or something because I need to get my misfit training time in and then I'm probably going to go take like a longer break I think I'm going to run to the store pick up some beer and then I'm all probably going to play some League tonight or some Smash Brothers by Smash Brothers I mean Skullgirls alright so let's see if misfit is still in channel yes he is we are going to go ahead and get this started. I'll be playing Demon Hattori. Oni no Hattori. Oni no Hattori. Wow, 20 people in stream. Kick ass. That is awesome. That is super cool. We have now officially broken a record. There are 20 people in my stream. These things have never happened before. Never ever. 
All right, so thank you everybody for watching. We will hopefully have some good matches. For those of you who are new to all of this, Misfit is currently the number one ranked player in the world on the 1v1 ranked ladders. At least he told me that. He might be lying, but I'm inclined to believe him just because he dedicates so much daggone time to this game. My name is Raven. I make videos about Brawlhalla because everybody seems to like them and because I can't seem to stop playing this game no matter how hard I try. And uh, I used to be considered the best, but ever since Ranked came out, like Ranked came out and I was busy grinding Diablo with my wife and then I immediately left for GDC and have been away from the game for about two weeks. So I'm trying to clean off the rust. And we'll, we'll see, you know, how that goes as far as the rust leading. Oh, he got me with the bounce. Whoa, almost had him. Almost. All right, good, you know, neutral stuff. Oh. <coughs> Let's see if I can't get some damages on. Nah, well, I got a little bit of yellow there. So far, so good. Reversals today. Getting reversal by everybody. Oh, awesome. All right. <coughs> so we're up about half a life. That's pretty sweet. There's the mad chase. Up. Oh! No! <laughs> uh, hey, thanks, Rundum. Thanks for uh, swinging by. I appreciate the compliment about the stream. I'm pretty new to streaming. I started like a month ago or something, and it's really fun, so I keep doing it. <laughs> That's basically like my uh, my parameters for all of this stuff. Is it like, is it fun? If it's still fun, I will keep doing it. And it has been fun this entire time. Oh, interesting dodge. All right, able to get around him. Yes. Fantastic. Raven coming out with the actual bomb hits this time. It looks like some of the rust is wearing off, ladies and gentlemen, but, you know, nothing is set in stone just yet. Can he defeat the number one player in the world? Will it happen tonight live on Twitch TV? Who's to say? Cast your vote now. <laughs> Here on pay-per-view. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh man, I was hoping that he wouldn't do that. I really wanted to hit him with the bomb, but he went for the attack. Alright, able to get close enough so he took some damage. That's pretty sweet. So we are still up. Ah, oh, man. Alright, still up, still up. Movement. Up! Oh man, see it look, it looks like these things something to, something's going on with this platform here where it just seems like like they changed something with it. And this is why Oh, come on now. Come on now. All right. Still in it, still in it. Nice, nice weapon toss up. Seems like Misfit has finally incorporated that tactic I had always been trying to teach him. Pretty much dead even on life and health. Oh, and the bomb knocks him out. There he goes. There he goes. GG, Misfit. That was a close match. Hope you're ready to fight for like another gazillion minutes. Feel like I got pretty lucky there with the bomb hit at the end. It was super close. But you know, item tossing is a uh, crucial part of this game, and it's not going to go anywhere. Alright, back at it. That match was like sex. Fast, furious, and with a great ending. Is, is that... <laughs> Predictions. Oh! Whoo! Just made it. Oh, look at those bounces. Those are like magic. Oh, nice. Expecting the dodge. You're absolutely right, Room BW. And that's exactly how I feel about this game. And why I keep playing it still, even after all this time. Whoa, ho, ho. Oh man, I almost hit him with a bounce. No, 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 no. <laughs> My bomb. No! Damn it! Misfit. Damn it! <laughs> Just gonna hug the wall. Just gonna hug the wall.
right, good unarmed combo. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I was hoping that's exactly how that would work out. And it did. Whoa, interesting. Interesting, I hit him. But it didn't, uh, didn't go out. I like how Misfit still uses all of his jumps. do not like the uh, height nerf that they put on the uh, spear up tilt. This seems like it was too much. Not really sure why they did it. Caught me with the edge. All right. Oh, I was hoping I could hit him while he was still in recovery. Nice. Ooh, also good. As to be expected. Yeah, you know, like, on tilt, you're exactly right, man. I, I see what you're saying. And it's true. Like, at some point, you're really good executionally. And the only way to win is to outthink the other dude. You know? Like... That's that's when you know that you're at the upper echelon for these fighting games, is when you're figuring out how to outthink your opponent, how to outplay your opponent, and not just outplay, or not just, you know, play the game better. Because at some point with fighting games, it's all about understanding how your opponent plays. So, like, part of the reason why I can play Misfit and win is because I really understand how Misfit plays. Like, Misfit in particular. I've fought him more times than anybody else and he still plays the same way that he that he used to you know like his habits haven't really changed that much like he's picked up some good techniques and he's a lot better at like selecting the right move for the right situation uh, than he used to be but he still does like he still dodges at a lot of the same times that he always used to and you know all that kind of stuff um, holy crap that move is just ridiculously strong in the middle of the stage. It's almost like you have to stay off the center platform now.
It's amazing, man. Player two wins. <sighs> amazing. That, yeah. A down tilt. I don't know what's up with that. Or that down air. My bad. Hattori. <sighs> that was good practice. We're cleaning off the rust. We're cleaning it. We're just, you know, getting rid of it. Scraping it off. One step at a time. Three, two, one, crawl. Oh, not fair. bastard your jumps Nice. Oh, I almost ran into that. There we go. That should do it. Yeah, let's salt the earth. <laughs> Never taught Misfit how to do that. Oh my goodness. Getting outplayed left and right. Trying to follow up. Oh, he keeps picking up his weapon. How does it happen? Oh, come on now. Come on. I don't want to lose. Oh, bollocks. Nope. Oh, almost. There we go. I got it!
Oh my goodness. Found some Betty. Woo! All right, there we go. Oh my goodness, how did he pull that one out? Oh my goodness. No, not with the item stun lock. No, no, no. Come on now, execution. Oh, bollocks. Okay, managed to do that without any damage. I could really work on my item tossing. Oh my god. All right. I deserve it. I'll take one loss. <laughs> oh my goodness. Worn out already, eh? <laughs> but I want more. I must. <laughs> oh man. All right, so Misfit's gone. I will happily fight someone else. Alright, so it looks like we've got Sunbeam. Never played this guy before, so. And Clint hopped in. Why did my. Oh, yeah, because I locked already. Alright. <sighs> Go ahead and see how this Lucian is. And I'm probably going to be taking a break here again shortly. Three, two, one, brawl! Bum, bum, bum!
Lucien in the morning. Hey, hey. Lucien in the evening. Alright, so, probably gonna stream uh, Brawlhalla again like Saturday or something. So when we do that, should we do this again? Or do you guys want to see me climb the ladder? So I will do by fan request. But if you guys are enjoying doing the matchmaking thing, you know, I kind of prefer this. But... Uh, so, Rundum, I see your question. Someone will probably answer it by the time that I that you hear me on chat. Um, but basically, the, the plan is right now in closed beta, there's access to all of the characters. Um, I know that when they go probably to open beta, they're going to be testing out how to uh, have some characters locked and some characters not. Um, so... Oh, and I'm dead. Yeah, so I think what they're planning to do is when it does come out, it's going to be kind of like League where you will have um, things that you can buy that are like cosmetic items and stuff, you know, for the characters you love and you can unlock, you know, your favorite characters and all that. Um, but currently, in the closed beta, everything is open and free. So, and any skins that you buy in the closed beta means that you will also have that character unlocked when it goes to the more league-esque system because the sad fact of the matter is is that it costs a lot of money to hire you know to have 15 employees so you know and just to like put that into like hard numbers for people like imagine that the average game developer gets paid about I don't know let's say anywhere between 40 and 70 thousand dollars a year all right and by average I mean like people with like a decent amount of experience and you know the rest of it same thing goes for like artists and what have you um, so let's say everybody's let's let's go on the cheap end. Let's say that everybody's getting paid 50 uh, 50 grand a year. So that times 15 is a lot of money. Just for 15 people. That's like almost it's like a million and a half dollars or some crap. Okay, it's not that much. But you know what I mean. It's a lot of money to to hire a full-on staff. So you know, shit costs money. Shit ain't cheap. I can't do math. That we have also established. <laughs> Me trying to do math is laughable. So if you guys are laughing out loud at my inability to do math, that's perfectly fine. Sunbeam pr seems pretty good. He doesn't have the good, strong movement fundamentals that everybody else seems to have picked up while I was gone, but then I don't know how long he's been playing. Playing Lucian, all right. And of course, I'm not really like paying that much attention. You can tell when I ramble that my play suffers. That's why, like, when I play Misfit, I'm super quiet compared to when I play everybody else. Because I'm like, I have to win against him. I have to. Like, he gets so braggy when he beats me. He, like, rubs it in and all this stuff. Yeah, I, you know, I'm, I, I see what you're saying, Rune BW, and I'm the same way. Like, if I like a game, I will put money into it. Case in point, I've spent a stupid amount of money on both Dota and League. I've spent money in Warframe because I've played like 60 hours in that. And if I get like 60 hours of gameplay off your free-to-play game, at that point I'm more than happy giving you money considering that like, you know, the campaign for some AAA games are like five hours long. <clears throat> the order. <clears throat> so. I think I've dropped like 180 hours in a Brawlhalla. I can check after this. You know, I'm not sure. Like, I had a lot of fun with Dying Light. I haven't finished it by any means. Um, but it's kind of like low on my priority list right now. I kind of really want to play some League. I want to play some Skullgirls again. And I want to get my rust back off in Brawlhalla. So... Yeah. Not really uh, not really thinking much about the rest of it. Is this game Smash Bros? This game is not Smash Bros. This game is far superior in every way. Okay, it's not. But it's far indie 
er in every way, which should be a good enough reason to pick it up. All right. GG Sunbeam. Let's see if he wants to do best of three. BO3. Princess Jamie, what's up? How you doing? You're in chat. That's awesome. For all of you who don't know, the princess and I used to play Counter-Strike many, 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 many years ago. Like, eight. No. Seven. It's a long time in, like, gamer years. It's a long freaking time. Yeah, I, I do prefer this game over Smash Brothers simply because it's uh, easier to control. It's less chaotic. I, I feel like I'm in full control of my character, whereas in Smash Brothers it's just pretty floaty and... Two, I don't know. One, There's so much more to learn in Smash Brothers. Here, like, you can get over, like, the executional barriers much faster and then just get to, like, playing. Whereas I feel like in Smash Brothers, there's all these, like, little techniques that are only, you know, really... If you want to get, you know, if you want to compete at the top tier, you have to put in all this time practicing crap like, you know, dash canceling and all that kind of nonsense. I don't want to do that. I just want to play the game. Bum. Don't want to dash cancel. Don't want to do it. Don't want to dash cancel. Just want to play the game. You know, I think my trouble with Smash Brothers now is that it's like I played the 64 version more than I played any other version. So I want it to be like the 64 version where it was like about like combos and lockdowns and like trapping people against walls and stuff and like none of that seems to exist anymore. And I blame it on being old. That's why I can't get into any of the Smash Brothers. Like my kid loves Smash 4 like a ton. But I've played Smash 4, and, you know, I have my favorite characters. You know, I like Zero Suit Samus and Greninja and Little Mac. Like, I like the fast, speedy characters, just the same way that I do here in uh, Brawlhalla with the story. But, I don't know, I just don't feel compelled. Like, I really love indie games and indie developers. I'm all about Dominating. the indie stuff. So... That's part of the reason why I love Brawlhalla. It's like, you know, it's made by this team of, like, normal-esque dudes chilling in Atlanta. They, you know, st started making this game that they found to be, like, really fun. And and now here they are, continuing to be awesome and making it and supporting it and listening to the community. Like, Nintendo won't do that. You know, Nintendo's just like, hey, guys, let's make a fighting game because, you know, people will buy it. It'll be marketable. It's like, well, that's great. And Smash Brothers is super fun. Don't get me wrong. But it's not indie, man. It's not on PC. It's only so much love you can get when something's not indie and not on PC. We all know this. I mean, heck. That's awesome, Clint. They seem like really cool dudes. I've talked to Lincoln and Zeke. Uh, on Skype and I met Lincoln at GDC and like he was just like this super gracious dude like really cool really thoughtful like I don't know like most game devs are really cool but it was really cool meeting him in person and just kind of hanging out and yeah I know they were just at like PAX East recently which is pretty sweet so I don't know. I like indie devs. I really do. I think they listen to their communities a lot, a lot better than than bigger publishers. You know, they understand the the importance of the player. Like, I love that shit. It gets me excited. Player two wins. Yeah, I think Lincoln is uh, Ty. Tavares. Tavares. All right. GG Sunbeam. Thank you for the game, sir.
Princess Jamie stopped mocking me. Alright, so it looks like we got Clint, which is sweet. I know Clint's been playing for a very long time, but I'm a little bored of Hattori, so we're going to try out Cassidy once again. <clears throat> and if I lose... So after this set, I'm probably going to go AFK for a short minute. Um, by short minute, I mean like probably 20 minutes. I'll put on some happy videos from the old days while I go wander down to the local 7-Eleven and grab some beer. Because I'm out. And because I get to work from home tomorrow. Three, bum, bum, bum. Two, one, brawl. Oh, look at the timing on that. It's like Clint had the countdown. Oh, I feel so slow with Cassidy. So, if you're wondering about things like Purple Nash, some of the guys who are in the Alpha have different skins from everyone else because they were in the Alpha. Not different skins, different color choices is like a bonus for having been in the Alpha. That's where, that's where that comes from. Oh my goodness. Coming in with the uppercuts. Nice, nice adjustment. All right, Clint. I see. I see what's up. Woo! That was fortuitous. <clears throat> you know, Jamie, the stories that I tell about the good old days, playing on the Liquid server, or not the Liquid server. That was something else. Uh, playing on Lazy Gamers, fighting between LG and Super Alphabet, and all the rest of it, all those crazy times we had on Office and Dust and Assault and, you know, everybody got really pissed at me and then everybody liked me and then they invited me to both clans at the same time and I probably went with the wrong one, but, you know, that was a long time ago, so what are you going to do? Counter-Strike drop. But, you know, I miss going 36 and 3 against a whole server full of noobs, you know, when nobody was on. Those were good times, but there were times that I shall never have again. I have, like, no desire to play Counter-Strike ever again. Like, I went and tried to play Go, like, you know, Global Offensive, and the trouble was, is, like, I was so bad at it. Like, so bad. Like, but my brain was still there. Like, I knew how to, like, I knew how to read the map still and, like, how to play people and predict what they were going to do, but my brain... Or my hands, my muscles just wouldn't get the shot. So, like, I would know I'd be like, the guy's going to come around the corner in three, two, one. And then I would just miss the shot and get killed. And I just couldn't deal with that. It's too painful. Wow, Clint is, like, throwing a lot of weapons. A lot of weapons. You know, as a holy pale, like, difference in communities, like, right now there aren't a whole lot of, like, community voices, right? Except for the people who are here. And, like, I want to feel like I was part of the reason why we got 1v1 so fast. And my whole thing was, like, from the get-go, like, don't complain about stuff. Learn how to get better. Learn fighting game techniques, like, you know... Don't just whine about stuff. And, like, if you are going to ask for a balance change, 
You know, like, we're in, we're in closed beta, right? Like, it's our responsibility to help the devs make this game good. It's not our, our responsibility to just run around and whine like children. So, like, actually think about it, you know? And, like, I think that that kind of thinking has been largely adopted by this community where it's like, you know, is this really a problem? And if it is, why? Or is it just us being bad? Whereas in Smash Brothers, like, you could analyze something all day, but you would never actually be able to change it, right? Like, you would never be able to get a balance patch or something like that, because, you know, they're not going to patch Smash, um, at least back in the Melee days. So, GG, Clint. Sorry, halfway through, through a <laughs> rant. Ranting in the evening. Oh, play the bear. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think that's probably part of it, where people, like... I mean, because the thing is, is there's two different levels of balance, right? And, like, I've just kind of said this before. It's, there's, like, the top-level meta balance, and then there's balancing for fun. And you kind of have to do both at the same time, right? Like, you have to be able to balance out things that are just making the competitive meta dull, but you can't nerf the fun out of things, and you can't take something that Three, is a lot two, of fun and make one, it unfun. Four. Or take something that's ruining everybody's experience, like a completely overpowered move, and then, um, you know, do that stuff. You got, you, it's got to be, it's got to be balanced for both of those questions. So, wow, with the weapon tosses again, Clint. I see what you're doing. Look, now he's gonna dive kick. Okay. Is he gonna throw it? Nope. <laughs> but he threw that one. Oh, he goes for the scoop. That's different. <laughs> there we go. Get out of town. Interesting. Oh, bollocks. Don't you guys be fighting in my Twitch chat. I don't want to have to moderate that nonsense. Everyone just be cool. Be cool. No need to instigate. Got to keep this, uh, keep it all nice and clean and encouraging the rest of it. If you guys learned nothing from my videos... <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. Don't get excited about the nonsense. See, look, Clint, I can throw weapons too. Whew. That's really cool on Tilt. It's glad to hear that this has, like, been cool for you. You know, like, now that you, like, recognize all these guys from Ranked and stuff, and so you get to chat, like, that's part of the reason why I still, like, am doing streams, and why I'm doing stream more often now than, like, the Let's Play videos that I started with, because I really like this whole kind of social aspect of this, where everybody kind of gets to hang out and, uh, you know, chat and get to know each other a little bit. Dominating. It's pretty nice. It's like, uh, you know... I feel like it's a giant like chat lobby and or steam group or something it's entertaining for me anyway like I, I like it because it's uh you know I normally don't take the time to like play games with people and this is whoa that sucked for me <laughs> um yeah it's like it's cool I dig the stream
Yeah, I'll take that item. Clint. Alright, there we go. <sighs> I'm Blast Toys, of course. Rampage. Blast Toys. GG Clint. That was awesome. Loving them weapon throws. Alright, I got time for one more before I go AFK. So, best of one. If anybody wants to hop in, the number is 1408. Oh, man. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -da. All right. So if anybody wants to get in, they can do so now. One last fight. All right, looks like Unicorns needs a key. So I guess I will toss him one. Unicorns an actual real life friend of mine, which is a little unusual, I know, since most of you know me from the Nether that is the internet, Reddit and YouTube, but Unicorns actually knows what I really look like. It's nothing like what you're seeing on camera. All right, man, I'm sending you a key right now on the Facebooks. I think it's all correct. Let me know if it works or not. But it should. The last one I gave out totally did. Uh, the unicorns is truly real. I saw them rampaging once against fields of honeydew, glistening yellow flowers in the sunlit fields of a land far away and then suddenly they rampaged they rampaged and rampaged and the rampage of unicorns continued for 36 days and 27 additional afternoons at which time everyone was sad because when the rampage was over I don't know something happened good night Clint All right. Well, I've been warmed up all this time. Maybe we should see if anybody's playing ranked. 42 wins, 5 losses. Let's see if the queue pops or not. If it doesn't pop in like 2 minutes, I'll put on a YouTube video while I go AFK. Um, and I will be back in like 20 minutes. Like I'm just running down to the store to pick up some sleeping supplies. They really need to make like one or two more bot AIs, so it's not just like all these bots doing exactly the same things. Alright, Clint, I will see. I don't know if my computer setup can handle some dying light, but if it can, I will certainly think about doing that. It's cheaper to watch you play the game. 
That is certainly true. And actually, I'm thinking about picking up a copy of Dragon Age Inquisition because one of the people I met at GDC was like one of the lead editors on it and was talking about how great it was, and I've heard really good things about it. So I might be picking up a copy of that at some point. Um, but it, it's like, you know, I like playing these competitive games on stream. It, it just, it's a lot more fun. I like playing with viewers. You know, I can't really do that with Dying Light. It's just like me running around killing zombies. Like, who wants to see that? All right, looks like I'm fighting Just Pete. I remember this guy from back in the day. He plays Thatch, which is pretty Three, sweet. Two, one, brawl. Should also be fairly easy, so long as I don't get completely shafted by this level like I have done in the past. I get a spear, and he gets some guns. Interesting. Really, it pops me out of that mid animation. All right, well, he's only got one move, it seems like. That one. But hey, it's like the best move with the gun, so I don't really blame him. Oh, I'd be really like sad if I lose now. All right, first knockout. Bum ba bum ba bum. Uh oh, now I'm dead. Hey, it's Pete. People know Pete. Cool beans. Don't know why he's not in stream. Just going for the attack, not the dodge respect. That's cool. Oh, I probably... Oh! Son of a bitch! That is what I am talking about. You should not be able to get knocked out like that at yellow health. So, I think that's a good enough reason to change it. Now I have to, like, do all this recovery bullshit. I gotta take like no damage for like the rest of the stock. Always happens to me on the unknown, too. Just die already. Should have been me dead. Nope, that's probably me dead in the next hit. Wow, that's nuts. Oh man, all right, GG. <laughs> Indeed. All right, let's see how many ranks I dropped down. Oh my god, 51, dropped like 10 ranks. All right, we'll do one more. Ugh. I'm gonna go make a very long blog post tomorrow. Somewhere on the forums. Maybe like, how did this happen? I leave for like two weeks. Two weeks. And somebody uncovers like the most OP move. Let's see if we're on stadium this time. No, oh, we're at King's Pass. Interesting. Three, two.
Oh boy. Back with a vengeance. Getting all ragey. Blister. Holy crap. That's how intense I'm playing Brawlhalla tonight. Blister level. Blister level intensity. Oh man, I was hoping I could three stock him. That would make me feel a lot better about losing. <laughs> That's why, why I'm saying like I don't like the whole three stock thing. Because if it's the first time you've ever played someone like... They can just play all fucking weird and you can't figure out like how to defeat them because it's three stocks. It's not enough time to analyze somebody. King's Pass is probably my best level, by the way. <laughs> Payback. <laughs> Oh, he left. He's playing at blistering speeds. No, seriously, like my where my trigger, where my dodge button is. All right, back up to rank forty. It's more like it. Let's hope Pete signs up again, and we can keep climbing the ladder at his expense. Nope, we gotta play rank three Tandori Bratis. I remember this guy. Oh, I'm on this stage again. Three, two, no Man's Sky is like probably the coolest looking game ever. Like, you know how there's, like, all this, like, planetary exp exploration type stuff? Like, holy crap. No, I would like to pick up a weapon, please. Thank you. Nice combo. Interesting. Oh, I'm uh, probably going to lose to this guy. He's super far ahead already. Seems to do pretty good against unarmed this fellow. Oh well, let's run to the other side of the map. We're still in it. Uh 
Uh oh. Oh crap, he got me with the combo. this again three two one brawl it's Pete I will say I get a lot more intense while I'm playing ranked than uh, what I do normally. I don't know. Oh, hey, uh, Tandori. That's really cool, man. I appreciate that. It was a good match. I got. I felt like I got really close there at the end, but uh, that that hammer, man, just knocked me out when it mattered most. But, you know, it's fine. I'm still rusty. I'm still rusty. I'm going to get back to, like, doing guides, and I've been thinking about making, like, a state of the meta, like a state of the game type of thing. You know, like a state of the union address, but about the game. I think that's, like, the type of video people make, right? Like, that's a thing. Oh. My tier list is the law. Yeah, I don't know about that just yet, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to do things like tier list. I think I'm going to cover more things like moves and uh, what like characters are popular. I don't know if it's going to be a straight tier list or not. Maybe I should just because that's the kind of stuff like people want to see. I mean, I look up tier lists. I guess I should do that, shouldn't I? So... You know, I look that crap up for fighting games all the time. <clears throat> all right, I will make the tier list. I'll be like that guy who's not pro, but he makes the tier list, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, his opinion matters because, you know, something he did, like, ages ago. <laughs> that no one remembers that I won, like, the first, like, three community tournaments, you know, because that's such a big deal. Oh, man. Yeah, I think 1v1 and 2v2 tier lists have to be separate. <laughs> I can't get to top 10. I keep losing to people. Uh, I keep fighting these guys who are like ranked 3 or 4, and then I just die to them. Rank 38 versus gold. I guess this guy's so new he doesn't like get a rank. Three, two, He's not at the one, ranked point yet. Ball. got good move selection though. I will give him that. Interesting. How did that not kill, man? There we go. <sighs> I 
I remember that it's a holy pale. Didn't I play your DiCapri? Didn't we do that one night? I think. I want to say. I want to say that we played some stuff and your DiCapri like kicked my ass. I did actually was thinking about uh, like playing some more Street Fighter. Oh! I'm dead. Playing some more Street Fighter again. Because I had some fun playing it when I was at GDC. I took my fight stick and we had a setup and stuff. Amazing. We have not yet played Street Fighter 4. Dude, we need to fix that. How late are you gonna be on tonight? We can fix that tonight, dude. Do you have it for PC? Let's make this happen. Get some get some endless matchmaking going, you know, some private lobby, with some stuff and some things and up! Oh! Love me some Street Fighter, man. Love me some Street Fighter. You should know this about me. I'll even play against your DiCaprio, even though I'm terrible against her and can't predict her mix-ups. It's totally cool. PC would wake up the family. All right, man. Well, you know that's still that's still legit. Oh man, are all the ranked players asleep? I should probably stop playing before this blister gets the better of me. It's like pretty crazy. Do you play on a fight stick or on keyboard when you play uh, Street Fighter? You're saying clicking and stuff. I mean, that could be, you know, fight stick or keyboard. Weren't you the guy who was going to buy my fight stick? Somebody was going to buy my old fight stick. And then they never, like, followed up with me on it. All right. Oh, hey, it's on tilt. What's up, my brother? On tilt is in uh, is in the ranked modes. Three, two, one. Hopefully he doesn't go on tilt. what it is they added a new sound to these uh to the blades and it's like pretty awesome and it sounds a little bit like my phone which is the binding of isaac dime sound so interesting the lack of quarter circles because you use a gamepad that's understandable well i use a fight stick and i just don't play charge characters like i could you know, like, I'm sure I could develop the mechanical skill to play a charge character, but I've just never played one. So playing one is, like, completely weird and foreign to me. So, yeah. Whereas, like, Shoto's and, you know, as you said, like, charge character, or, uh, you know, guys with half circles, those dudes I'm cool with. Grapplers, well, I've played a couple. I don't really prefer them. Right? Oh man, I'm so bad at throwing. I'm seriously gonna have blisters tomorrow. I offered it like a door to door salesman. Yes, that was the conversation. You never followed up with me, man. Do you still want it or not? Because I will hook you up. We just need to figure out like PayPal and where to ship it and stuff. That's all we gotta do. I think on tilt really wants to win this. He's, he's like trying hard. Oh, 
Oh, last hit would have killed. I know it would have. <sighs> yeah, square cash. Something like that. Something like that would work. You're absolutely right, unicorns. So, you know, I gotta ask you, Rampage of Unicorns, do you have any affinity to the League of Legends team from the EU LCS entitled Unicorns of Love? Did you have anything to do with their unusual name? You know... Oh, that thing no longer hits behind you? What? Interesting. Oh. All other bronze plays. Are you stuck in bronze unicorns? Player two wins. I thought you were like diamond or something, man. Thought you had skills. I can never remember. Can you remember if you're good and your team's bad or your team's good and you're bad? All right, rank 29, so that's still pretty awful. Anyway, I'm going to go FK for a uh, short while. And when I get back, I will probably continue playing something, or I may just go to sleep. I'm not sure. I want all of you guys to talk about what I should do when I get back but for now, I'm going to go AFK. I am going to pull up something for you guys to watch. Don't know what yet. Um, where is, like, my AFK thing? Oh, there it is. All right, so rank 29. I went up 11 ranks. I guess that's okay. I'm still worse than Compton as far as the ranking mode is concerned. Let's see. Um, I'm silver 4 currently. I capped out at gold five last season but that's largely because i haven't really ever invested a significant amount of time into ranked league uh, which i intend to do this year i intend to be playing a lot of league it's just hard to play league when i can be playing brawlhalla so i don't know maybe i'll play some league when i get back maybe i'll play some aram or something just so i can go get my champions on all right so let's uh pull up the youtube channel I'm not very good at League yet, but I'm on my way to, uh, you know, some better stuff, some better action. I also do want to play a lot more Skullgirls as well. <laughs> 